In this video, we're going to cover presenting stimuli simultaneously. For example, when you need to have two stimuli um, appear exactly the same time that can't fit into one event. For example, if you have an image followed by a word or two words from separate word lists. So the typical text event setup is such that it deletes the screen so it deletes the screen before it presents its stimulus. So when I, if I, for example, were to run this experiment, the stimuli the fixation would appear. Then uh, this event will erase the fixation, present its stimuli. And then the last um, event would delete the first stimulus and present its stimuli. And you wouldn't get them on the screen at the same time. So let's just demonstrate that. Each event is run for one second. So the first thing here to do would be to um, prevent this event erasing the screen. So if we double click on that, open the settings, come to the stimulus tab, settings button, and under presentation options tab, we need to uncheck the array screen before presenting the stimulus. In that way, our first stimulus should stay on the screen. So if we click OK and we run that, OK, there you saw the first stimulus appear and the second one appeared below it and they were both on together at the same time. That's fine, but we'd like them both to appear at exactly the same time. Now, one method um, that could be used would be to change this input and the duration time to zero milliseconds and that can work, but if you have multiple stimuli so you may have three stimuli in all, or four stimuli in all. Um, you start to get errors, whereby the first one would appear, then the second one would appear, and then the last one would appear. And they kind of, uh, although they might look quite uh, like simultaneous, they wouldn't be. There'd be um, some time difference between them. You might get some errors in in the reaction times there. So the best method would be to um, make this one invisible, and for it to appear the same time as this one. So in effect, this one triggers the uh, the visibility of the first one. So we'll do that now. We'll come to the first stim, double click on it, get the settings, come to the stimulus tab and the settings and the presentation options tab. We, we can see here there's a checkbox for keep stimulus invisible. Let's check that. In this way, the stimulus here will be invisible until such time as uh, an event on this trial which is visible um, triggers it and will make it appear okay so in this case if i click ok in this case um, this is a standard text event which is visible so um, this will trigger this invisible and all the other invisible stimuli um, to appear at the same time as as the stimulus will. Okay, so bear in mind that this is up for a second, and this is up for a second, and this is also up for a second. So at this point, you won't see the stimuli or the stimulus, but you will see a blank screen. So that's a good demonstration of how to get your stimulus. Uh, your stimuli to appear simultaneously. Obviously, in the real world, you'd set this duration to um, zero anyway. Unless you particularly wanted a, a gap, rank gap. So I'm going to click OK here. So this invisible setting will work for multiple um, events. So we can add another event. Click the plus symbol, let's call it 
middle stem. Let's set the time to zero. And uncheck end this event after end response. Drop the stimulus, let's put middle stem here. Put the duration here, and of course we have to um, position it so it doesn't overwrite the other one. So we we'll set it 100 pixels above the center of the screen, and we, we don't want it to erase the screen beforehand, and we do want to keep it invisible. Click OK. Let's do a quick preview. That's fine. So hopefully I've remembered everything. Um, let's link it into our trial. So what we should see here is fixation run, then nothing, nothing, and then all three stimuli appear at the same time. There you go. One thing to bear in mind is that because all three stimuli appear at this onset of this event, any reaction time collected needs to be um, reset for this event. And even though you might be measuring reaction time from uh, one of the stimuli from one of the previous events, all the timings will be set from here.